you're listening to Do This First, a daily personal development podcast that focuses on science facts, actionable steps towards your best year ever. Hi, I am Santa, your host. Today we're continuing with our 12-part Shine with Shakespeare series, installment number three, Macbeth's Treacherous Morality. Macbeth is a tragedy by William Shakespeare that tells the story of a Scottish general named Macbeth. He receives a prophecy from three witches that he'll someday become king of Scotland. Encouraged by his ambitious wife, Lady Macbeth, He's driven to commit regicide to seize the throne. The play explores themes of power, guilt, and the consequences of unchecked ambition. As Macbeth ascends to power, he becomes consumed by paranoia and guilt, leading to a series of tragic events that ultimately lead to his downfall. The play unleashes the deep psychological effects of murder and the corrupting influence of power. Though there are several wretched and utterly deplorable characters in Macbeth, the most wretched in my humble opinion is Lady Macbeth. Her intense ambition and desire for power drives her to manipulate her husband into murdering King Duncan. Lady Macbeth's guilt, remorse, and deterioration after the fact as the play progresses makes her both pitiful and contemptible. Her famous lines like, out damned spot, out I say, reveal her tortured conscience and inner turmoil as she struggles to cope with the consequences of her actions. Ultimately, Lady Macbeth's tragic end underscores the wretchedness of the character. Macbeth has been widely acclaimed as one of Shakespeare's most powerful and intense tragedies. However, some criticisms of the play have been raised by scholars and critics over time. Like for example, the moral ambiguity. Some critics argue that the moral ambiguity of the characters, particularly Macbeth himself, can make it hard for us to sympathize with or understand even his motivations. The lack of character development. Some critics contend that the character development in Macbeth is not as nuanced as in some of Shakespeare's other plays, leading to a less engaging or relatable depiction of the characters. And then there are inconsistencies in tone. It really is all over the place when it comes to tone. The play does blend elements of the supernatural with political intrigue, and it really does lead some of us to find it uneven and disjointed at times. And then there's the violence and spectacle over depth. Some critics suggest that the focus on dramatic violence and spectacle might overshadow deeper themes or character exploration. Even with these perceived flaws though, the play Macbeth is widely regarded as one of William Shakespeare's greatest plays and a masterpiece of English literature. It holds a prominent place in the history of drama and it is considered one of the greatest tragedies ever written. Macbeth continues to be studied in academia, performed on stages around the world, and adapted into various forms of media, including film, TV, and literature. Its exploration of themes such as ambition, power, guilt, and fate continues to resonate with us and makes it a timeless and enduring classic. While opinions on Shakespeare's works can vary among critics and scholars, Macbeth is consistently ranked as one of the finest plays and is recognized as a significant and influential work in the canon of English literature. Its enduring popularity and critical acclaim affirm its standing as one of the very best in the entire history of Western literature. Macbeth is a rich and complex play that offers numerous life lessons and insights into human nature. Here are a couple of lessons that can be gleaned from Shakespeare's masterpiece. Number one. The destructive nature of unchecked ambition, you don't say. (laughs) Ambition, when not tempered with moral principles, can lead to ruin and tragedy as seen in the downfall of Macbeth. Macbeth's unchecked ambition blinds him to ethical considerations and propels him to murder King Duncan in his relentless pursuit of power. 
This act sets off a chain of unfortunate events that spiral out of control, ultimately leading to Macbeth's own demise. One passage that exemplifies this destructive ambition is when Macbeth reflects on the consequences of his actions, acknowledging the emptiness and futility of his pursuits. And it's as follows. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. Act 5, Scene 5. This passage reflects the emptiness and despair that result from Macbeth's unchecked ambition, underscoring the tragic consequences of prioritizing power over moral integrity. In other words, you can have it all and still it wouldn't be enough if your moral compass is a quarter of a bubble off. Another lesson, the consequences of actions. Every action has repercussions, and one must be prepared to face the consequences of our choices, as Macbeth and Lady Macbeth discovered. The consequences of actions are a recurring theme in Macbeth, highlighting the idea that every decision and action carries weight and can have far-reaching repercussions. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth's choices to pursue power at any cost illustrate the profound impact of their actions on themselves and those around them. One poignant example of this theme is when Lady Macbeth is tormented by guilt and the consequences of her actions, struggling with her conscience and the weight of her role in Duncan's murder. In Act 5, Scene 1, she is consumed by guilt and hallucinations, trying in vain to cleanse herself of the blood on her hands. Here's the smell of the blood still. All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. This passage powerfully captures Lady Macbeth's realization of the irreversible consequences of her actions. The scene demonstrates how guilt and remorse can haunt those who disregard morality in pursuit of their ambitions. The importance of considering the ramifications of one's choices and being prepared to face the consequences of one's actions is the lesson. Another lesson, the corrupting influence of power. Power can corrupt even the most noble individuals, leading to moral decay and personal destruction. The corrupting influence of power is a pervasive theme in literature and is prominently explored in Shakespeare's Macbeth. This theme underscores how the allure of power can seduce individuals, even those of noble character, into moral degradation and eventual ruin. The play vividly portrays the transformation of Macbeth from a respected and honorable warrior into a tyrant consumed by greed and paranoia. Lady Macbeth, initially depicted as ambitious and manipulative, also succumbs to the corrupting force of power ultimately experiencing profound psychological turmoil and guilt. Through the tragic arcs of Macbeth and Lady Macbeth, Shakespeare adeptly conveys the cautionary lesson that power when wielded without restraint or moral grounding can corrupt even the most notable individuals and lead to their eventual downfall and personal destruction. And then there's a lesson of hubris and overconfidence. Macbeth's overconfidence and hubris blind him to the impeding consequences of his actions, ultimately leading to his downfall. Power exposes character. Characters undergo when power is lost or increased, demonstrates the impact that power dynamics have on personality and behavior. Make no mistake, conscience guides character. Characters' moral compass and their responses to ethical dilemmas reveal the role that conscience plays in shaping everyone's behavior, especially in this play. Conscience serves as a guiding force that influences characters' decisions and actions throughout the story, reflecting their inner moral compass and values. How characters navigate ethical challenges and the weight of their conscience often determines the paths they choose and the outcomes they face. In literature, the interplay between conscience and character underscores the importance of moral integrity and the profound impact that one's conscience can have on shaping their destiny. 
A good example of a solid moral compass is Malcolm, the eldest son of King Duncan. Malcolm is portrayed as embodying qualities of loyalty, integrity, and justice throughout the play. Despite facing betrayal and danger from Macbeth, Malcolm maintains his composure, his courage, and his commitment to reclaiming his rightful place as King of Scotland. His interactions with Macduff and his genuine concern for the well-being of his country demonstrates his noble nature and sense of duty. Malcolm's integrity and moral uprightness serve as a stark contrast to the utter moral depravity seen in other characters, making him a standout example of righteousness in the midst of a corrupt and tumultuous world. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to leave a review. You can also read a full transcript of this podcast episode and all 192 podcast episodes and counting on my blog at dothisfirst.life. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Do This First. And I see that my subscriptions are ticking up, so keep at it, guys, because I want to make it to 10K. Also, you can sign up for my new weekly newsletter. It'll help you get your week started on a positive note and updates on coaching, books, merch, and my public speaking engagements as they become available. Tomorrow will continue with the fourth installment of our Shine with Shakespeare series. Till tomorrow. Moving past the rain, moving past the pain, or past the color blue. I see power in you. Pass well down. Look around, they can't be found. I see, I see, I see, I see a chance. Yes.